So well guys, uh, this is Kumar Gupta here. Um, in the last three videos, we have looked at the load test, the stress test, and the endurance test or the soak test. We have seen how to build them on the controller. So today, we're gonna look at the scalability test, which is kind of the last test, okay? So we'll see what is this uh, scalability test. I assume that you already know the scalability test and based on that, I'm creating this video as to how to build this scalability test on the controller. But however, I'll give you a ballpark idea as to what it is. Okay, so let's get started before I get started. So I just wanted to let you know that uh, I do regular trainings on performance testing using Low Runner. So it starts with the basics and it will go into really advanced topics. If you're interested, you can just WhatsApp me or call me on this number or you can use that email address kgupta.testingtraining at gmail.com. You can visit this website and you can see what all the trainings I offer and if you like them, if you like the course content, uh, you can always call me back uh, to check on them. <clears throat> so how to build the scalability test on the controller. So this is the picture which you have been, uh, which you are familiar to you now since you have watched, I assume that you have watched all my three videos. So I, I believe this, uh, this particular picture you are familiar. Um, on the x-axis you have number of concurrent users, on the y-axis you have the scenario elapsed time. So this is my load test, the one this is in the black, this is the load test which, is, which I have executed with 40 users. I have shown you how to design and how to build that on the controller, okay. Uh, then uh, we went ahead and understood the stress test. Okay, there is no steady state, all you have is a ramp up and then finally the endurance test. Okay, we have looked at all this. We have looked at all this. Now, the next test that we're going to look at is the scalability test. As you can see, with the load test, you're running with 40 users, the scalability test, you're running with 80 users. Okay, again, for the scalability test, you have a ramp up, you have a st steady state, and a ramp down as well. Okay, that it is just like a load test, but it's done with the bigger user load. Okay, now the question is, the bigger question is why 50, why 80 users? This is run with 40, why 80 users? It is doubled. Why it is doubled? What is the reason for that? Why? Because you got an NFR from, from your client saying that there is a 100% user growth in the next one year. This is the NFR that you have received from the client and based on that 100% user, user growth means it is doubled. So on that basis, I have assumed, you know, I, I have come out with this number 80. So that's why I've built the scalability test I've, or I'm planning to run the scalability test with 80 users. Okay, so this was the WLM or workload modeling for our peak load test. So we have spent good enough, good amount of time understanding this WLM document um, in, in the first video wherein I've shown you how to design the load test. Right? So in this series, I want you to watch, if you're watching this, I want you to watch all these videos together, four of them, so that you get a 100% uh, idea and 100% grip on this one, okay? Uh, on, on, on all those four, okay? So this is what uh, we, have, we made the assumption. So we were planning to run this test with book flights, cancel flight and register user. And this workload modeling sheet is usually given to you by your lead. So this is how you got those numbers. Um, and uh, this is what the Excel sheet that you got from your, or the, or the table that you got from your lead. And the book flight is 25, cancel flight is 10, registered user is five. You can't randomly pick these numbers like this. There is, there is, there is a certain way that you break down these 40 users across all these scripts, okay? So that comes into a different chapter called workload modeling chapter. Anyways, coming back to this. So now there is a 100% user growth, which means that this will double, this will double, and this will double. That's exactly what I've done. Book flights, 25 made it 50, and cancel flight made it from 10 to 20, and this is five, from five to 10, and you add it up, it's all 80 uses. So as you can see, that's the reason why I've designed the test with 80 uses. So out of these 80 users, do believe that 50 users are book flight, uh, 20, yeah, 50, 20 users were cancel flight and 10 users were registry user. Now we're gonna build this same test on the controller, guys. So let's go to the controller now. Let's open the controller, okay? So <clears throat> this is the controller. So let me create a new scenario now. Okay, so let's add this one. So let's add book flight because book flight is the first one. Now you add the cancel flight. And finally, register user. Wonderful. 
okay so make this to basic schedule so that this becomes editable so this one was 50 users this one is 20 users and this one is 10 users so overall 8 users wonderful so go to the runtime settings get the pacing values and change the pacing as well so the pacing over here is the pacing over here is so what is the pacing 160 80 and 72 change those values so first group go to runtime settings change the pacing value okay so it was 160 change it to 160 similarly do it for the other two groups as well by the way each one is called group so go to the second one change change the settings or the pacing of the second one as well if i remember correctly what is the grouping yeah it is 80 so change it to 80 and last one you change it to 72 i'm leaving it to you so that you can do it so we are not done yet we have to define the ramp up ramp down and steady state using the actions over here under the global schedule so initial users yeah we have to initialize each and every user before you get started so starting users five users for every 30 is a good ramp up 30 seconds okay five users for every 30 seconds is a good ramp up and uh, usually this scalability test you run it for one hour okay let's mark this as one hour so as i'm filling this uh, or i'm editing this data here this graph is also changing if you paid enough attention and finally five users for every sorry 15 seconds wonderful guys so you have a ramp up steady state and ramp down so everything is done how did you ref define this ramp up steady state ramp down using the actions over here start users is for ramp up duration is for steady state stop users is for ramp down go ahead save your test with whatever you want so let me save this as scalability test and my scalability test is designed so congratulations guys you have learned how to build a scalability test on the controller so there is no button in the controller for scalability test how to how you design this ramp up ramp down and how you number of users you have set everything will decide if that particular test is a load test or a stress test or a scalability test or a endurance test so thank you guys thank you for taking your time and listening to my video and as I've told you, if you're interested in taking my classes, you're always free to free, feel free to call me. Don't hesitate to call me. And uh, yeah, uh, there are very advanced topics that will be covered. You, you just don't uh, learn just how to record playback, put some render over points, checkpoints and all that. It is much, much advanced than that. You will be able to do the programming on Loadrunner and you can go to the interviews very, very confidently. That's what a lot of my students have told me that after taking your course, I was able to go to the interviews very confidently. Whether you're working or whether you're starting off your career. Thank you guys. Thank you for taking your time. Bye-bye.